Nice cars. Look at that. Interesting locations. Mm. However, what's wrong with these photos? This photographer is doing a lot of things right. They've got a low perspective. Mm -hmm. I could go a little lower, but still They even got low. the wheel turned there. Got the wheel turned. Gray looking cars. Got the headlights on. Shooting it not in direct sunlight. Same thing here. Same thing here. But you know what it is? See all these reflections and stuff on the side? Yeah. Those all have to go. When I shot on top of the, you saw the Tesla cover I showed? Yeah. There was no reflections. There's just like a highlight and a shadow, and there's nothing. You don't see buildings. You don't see. That's why I shot on top is those were, you're shooting into a mirror when you shoot a car. And if you look at professional car photography, you will rarely ever see trees and junk like that. That's reflected. why you try to get the isolated spots so you don't get right. those reflections. Same what they'll usually here. use in those, what the pros will use indoors is a tremendous, tremendous softbox yeah. right on top like of the car so you get Chimera. a smooth. Right. Eric and yeah. I have done that. We shot yeah. with a 35 foot Chimera right overhead. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know it, what? It, the side of the car reflects everything, everything in that room. In that, we, we would move spend stuff. an hour <laughs> getting reflections out to take the shot before we could take the first shot. Yeah, we were See like all clearing this stuff? out the studio. To See do all it. this stuff. See all this stuff. If this was a shot done by the company that made this vehicle, you would not see that stuff. Even though it's there and in its stuff, it would not be there. It would be clean. These are distractions on the car. Go look, guys, go to any car. Go yeah, to yeah. any company. It's go look at their simple. car. I don't care where their car is. You're not going to see any of that stuff. Same thing here. This stuff here, all this stuff. Uh, no, you can leave that. That's the shadow from here. That's got to go. Any of this. This one's cl the one's cleanest the, of the, the three. Cleanest. Yeah, I was going to say. However, I would get rid of the tire tracks and all this other distraction Because well, is it stuff. a parking lot or is it a speedway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, you've got both yeah, elements yeah, And in there. same thing here. Look at all this junk on the ground. I'd get rid of all this stuff. And, and now, don't get me wrong. This photographer is doing a lot of stuff right. Yeah, they're, they're just missing a little it, bit, a little yeah, bit but, of that final work. Now, this stuff is not that hard to get rid of. Let me jump it over to Photoshop and show you what I mean. And, and this is stuff I want to tell you right now. I learned from Tim Wallace, one of the most famous Perfect. automobile <laughs> photographers. And anything transportation-wise. Transportation this wise. guy makes wood chippers look good. Yeah, he's incredible. <laughs> and he's done classes for us at Kelby One. And I learned this from him. But you can do stuff like this. You're going to add another layer. You're going to sample uh, whatever color Seriously, you think is. I've seen his wood right. chipper shots. Oh, his They're wood chipper amazing. shots are amazing. Amazing. All right. You're going to click like, right wood here. Chipper. All right. So I'm sampling that color and you're going to come in here with a brush and you're going to paint over all this stuff with whatever color that you think you need to do. You might need to do a gradient here because of the way the thing is graduated or sample here and then paint over this area. And then when you're done with all this, Right, but this is how it needs to look. It's got to be really clean. Yeah, you're smoothing it out. Yeah, and then you can do this here, I guess, if you want. Now, this I'm doing a hack job here, right? And then when you're done, but look at the difference, guys. See how that's got to get out of there? Then you're going to go and you're going to add noise so it doesn't look digital. You're going to go here to add noise. You're going to put in a, I don't know, maybe three Gaussian monochromatic. You want to put on Gaussian. You want to put on monochromatic. And you want to go kind of go up close and see that's too much, right? Yeah, so three is too, too much. much. So let's go find out what go that amount 5. is. Yeah, let's, tr let's try 1.5. Uh, noise, add noise. Let's do, let's try one. You can go below one. Let's do. It's right about there. Yeah, somewhere right in here. So it, it, it has the feel of. Yeah, but, so it looks like digital noise. And then you're going to have to do this again over here. And you're going to have to do it down here. And this is just add a new layer, sample with the brush tool, and just paint this stuff away. And you got to do it. Now, you can either do this. I prefer to do as much of this in person. I would prefer not to have to do this later. Yeah, in that was like the point. Like when we were in the studio shooting with that big... I remember we spent most of the time just moving stuff. Right, mm -hmm. and then apply. Mm -hmm. Then once you know what your noise is, you can just hit a re repeat the same thing. But look at the difference just in the door. You got to get rid of that stuff. So yeah, and think about that across the whole vehicle. It'll bring out the lines oh man, it's going to look. It's going to. It's worth it. It's worth it to take the time. You can also clone or try other things. You know, um, in cleaning uh, some of my Tesla shots because I, I wound up putting ten or twelve full page 
shots. Like H Chapter has one of the shots. I might have had to even use uh, a little bit of AI to get rid of some stuff that there's no way I would know what mm-hmm. was behind a tree right. or some weird thing. But anyway, good job overall. I think this photographer is doing a lot of things right, but you got to fix that one thing, and I think it's going to make a big difference.